All right, good morning. It's about 8.20 uh, or so, 28th of May, Memorial Day, 2018. This is what I left with yesterday. I had gotten the paint tarp kind of up, at least prototypically up. And uh, what it looks like in here, obviously, i got to take care of the roof and get that sealed. Um, come up with a little bit better of a, of a seal on the door here. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. And then put a spot in for the fan, which I think I'm going to discharge the fan in the back just because of uh, the rest of the stuff that's in the garage, even though it's going to point right to my chassis. Um, I might put like a moving blanket in front of the fan or something to try and catch any residual just to push the stuff towards the back of the garage where there's not as much stuff that we care about getting paint residue on it. So anyway, I'm going to play with that a little bit. Uh, I still have prep work to do on the bottom as far as getting it cleaned. I got to get this uh, little back of the boot there, um, red, scotch braided a little bit better to get some more of that uh, little rusty spots out of there, get that clean. But uh, we'll see if I get to get to confident enough to try to shoot some paint. So it's uh, like I said, it's about 8:20 right now. I don't want to be here all day, being the holiday and all that. So I'm not going to um, go for it unless I've got about two hours. I think so. If I'm not done by about 10 with my prep, I'm going to uh, save it for another day. So we'll see how it goes. All right, well, um, it's, it's, a, it's an abundance of cheesiness, but, uh, but I think it's okay enough to paint what I'm going to paint, just the bottom here. But uh, I got the little fan over here in the corner sucking some air. Um, clean the plastic away from that. But what it's doing is, as I expected, is it's sucking the walls in. Um, so I have another filter, but I want to put the filter on the fan exhaust. So, um, but I, but like I said, I think it's going to be good enough just for painting the primer. So I am going to go ahead and start cleaning this guy up a little bit, and uh, eventually get to the point where I'm using the wax and grease remover. It's 9:30 right now. It takes about a half an hour, 45 minutes for the paint to induce. Two coats, 10 or 15 minutes between coats. So I think. Uh, I think I might give it a shot, so we'll see. I no, I don't know yet. Ready to start prepping for paint. It is 10:47. I'm going to use the SPI Waterborne Wax and Grease Remover. Clean the bottom of the tub up as well as I can. I got my board set up over there to practice my pattern, my fan pattern and stuff. The other thing that I had forgotten about was the temperature requirements. It needs to be at least 65 degrees, the metal and the paint temperature, and I'm a little bit above that, so close enough what the book says. I got the halogen lamp in here which is making things a little toasty but uh, you know the metal itself is not going to warm up just the ambient so it's going to take a little while but I'm not going to rely on that. That's the uh, wax and grease remover so I'm going to wet the whole car down with that with a spray bottle and then wipe it clean get it as clean as I can and then you got to let it sit for at least 30 minutes it says to let it completely dry while I'm doing that I'll mix the paint I'll show you that and then also I need to then tack the car down and all that kind of stuff and then I'm just going to kind of go for it here so um, I don't see why not so if I mess it up I mess it up it's just the bottom of the car that's kind of why I'm doing that and, uh, and we'll see how it goes all right I got the bottom cleaned up with the wax and grease remover it's pretty much dry now it's only been about 15 to 20 minutes but it stays wet a good amount of time which is good because it allows you to wipe it off and clean it off instead of the stuff the dirt drying on there I also remembered that I wanted to paint the uh, the little spring uh, leaf spring cover here so I got that guy ready to go and got him cleaned up I got uh, paper towels stuffed into the couple bolts down here that have threads in them for the seats and for the seat belt anchors um, to make sure that I'm not gonna mess those up obviously and I missed one right there for the emergency brake I'll get that real quick but uh, otherwise, I am pretty sure that I am ready to start mixing paint. So I'll get that bolt filled. Paint induces for an hour, or excuse me, for 30 minutes. Allow it to, uh, to activate. And then I'm going to get in here and, and uh, have some fun. My concern here is underneath the wheel well there, up top, under here, that I'm not going to be able to get into there very well. So that's going to be a little tricky. Um, especially since I'm going to have to kind of contort myself, but I am using the Devilbus cup system, which allows you to spray upside down. Um, so there's that. I didn't really tape anything off. I, I got I forgot that I'm going to go ahead and tape that off in there. I think I did tape off this cover here. I'm not really concerned with overspray that much, but 
that big gaping hole there, I, I'll want to cover that a little bit. So, um, and then the big body holes, I'll tape them over real quick. But otherwise, I think I'm ready. All right. Well, time to start mixing the paint. Um, stuff is pretty uh, potent. You can smell it. But uh, I'm going to just mix up a pint here, just because I don't think it's going to take all that much for the two coats. At least I hope not. Um, they make a big point of stir sticking it, not just even if they put it on a mechanical shaker like you'd get at Lowe's or something for your house paint. The, the instructions make a big deal that it's not real good to get all the solids out. So this has been sitting, you know, since I purchased it. So you want to get up onto the bottom and mix the paint up really good. You can kind of feel it thick down there too. And see it on the stir stick. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's a lot of solids down there. I don't see when all that mixed up. So it is a one to one mix when you're doing it as epoxy or as regular primer. I believe it's a one to one to one mix with urethane reducer if you're using it as a sealer. So I don't intend to do that today. And it's at least a 30 minute induction time, so it's uh, in that in that way, it's not like I'm running against a clock that I got to get this sprayed on in so much time, so, which is good because I'm sure this is going to take me a little bit. Of course, one thing I forgot to lay out here were paper towels. So I just got this cardboard here, so. All right, so here's a little trick that I had seen. I don't know if it's going to work for me, but you put a little skim of tape around there and it kind of makes a little pore spout for you so that you don't go down the can too bad. So I don't know if it's gonna work. So the mixing can's got a bunch of gradations or graduations on it, one to one, two to one, three, all the way up to what, eight to one. Um, so I'm gonna bring it up to the five here with the part A, the paint, and then bring it up to the other five with the, uh, with the part B or the, or the activator. Stuff's pretty thin. Not like, uh, not like latex house paint. All right, now the activator. A little bit more convenient of a pour here. All right, so now we bring this up to five. All right, 30 minutes, minimum. Put the cap on there lightly. And uh, wait my time. Gonna uh, tack the car with a tack rag here, tack cloth. This guy here, just a little cheesy tack cloth that I picked up at the uh, arm break. And then uh, get stuff cleaned up a little bit, run the gun in there and get ready. The paint has been inducing for about 40 minutes or so. Got everything taped and masked that I wanna get taped and masked, tack ragged. Got a tarp down just for incidental overspray to try to protect the floor somewhat, though frankly I don't really care. Um, a board set up for some test patterns, and this guy, I just got him on a cheesy sawhorse. Uh, I got the fan on low, so with that little flap shut over there, you can see it encroaches a little bit on me, but not too bad. Um, I don't know what to do about the halogen light. I don't know if it really matters, so I might as well keep it in here. Um, hopefully it won't get destroyed. But there you go. So uh, I'm going to start painting and I'm going to get a new Tyvek suit, try to keep everything as clean as possible, and wish me luck. Coat number one came out uh, okay. I'm happy with it. It's still pretty fragrant in here, so I'm going to talk kind of fast. I missed some spots. Didn't get real good coverage on this top floorboard here, so I'm going to have to hit, hit that with a kind of extra heavy second coat. Bottom one I'm happy with. Some runs, if you can see them there. Um, missed a spot there. Missed a spot in the same place, but down there. And like I was concerned with underneath the fenders there, that's nearly impossible to get at just because of the, the uh, shape of the spray gun. But, um, but yeah, got this little guy painted there. You can see my practice patterns to finding the one. Those two down there was when I was pretty much set. You can see the runs everywhere else. So I'm pretty happy. So I'm gonna let it flash off for about 30 minutes and then come back in and get the second coat down and then uh, be done. All right, so I'm in the uh, quote unquote paint booth. I don't know if you can understand me, but it smells pretty good in here still. Um, 
So you're not going to really be able to get to see a whole lot, but I got my camera in a plastic bag, so we'll see how it works. But um, I'm sure I'm going to block a lot of the shot and all that stuff, but just figured I'd give it a little, a little down here. So I got the gun, I'm going to get it set up and, and aimed properly and get the pressure right and all that. Alright, so the fan pattern is still good from the last time. Paint this spring cover. Alright, here we go. Alright, 2 o'clock. The bottom is gray. Epoxy primer. Pretty happy. A couple runs here and there, but nothing too significant. And again, it is the bottom of the car. So I started taking the dent down more just to kind of air this out in here. It's still a little fragrant, but not too bad now that I got a couple fans going and the, all the doors open. But uh, I want to put the car down too, just to minimize the amount of dust it's going to get and, and settle out on it. Uh, obviously with it down below, it shouldn't be too bad. But... Uh, but yeah, so again, pretty happy the way it came out, two wet coats, and uh, that's going to be it for me today. Going to go home and spend some time with the family and uh, do a little cookout real quick, just, just the four of us. So I hope you're enjoying your Memorial Day. Again, please, uh, please remember that the holiday is for the people that, that uh, fought for this country and gave their lives in support of it and in defense of our freedom. So uh, have a good rest of your weekend. Please visit the website, www.roundtailrestoration.com. Happy Memorial Day. Cheers.